Um, welcome to my video. Today I will be giving a personal review on the Arc Welder Heavy Weapon from Starfield. This is a close range weapon. It's similar to the Cutter. I, I don't think it actually does any mining. It's just for uh, offense. Uh, 22 energy damage. It uses the 3kV laser ammunition, which is a very common ammunition. You'll find it in lots and lots of places. 45% uh, accuracy is a little on the low side, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Uh, 76 fire rate. Um, I honestly can't say whether that's going to be a problem or not. I've never really used this weapon, so this is really an experiment for me as well. And a 100 round mag, well we'll see how far that goes. I don't have a clue. Uh, two modification slots, I haven't even looked at what modifications you can put on this one. Um, four options available are the amplifier, a laser sight, overclocked and precision tuning. Um, so accuracy, probably damage output would be the two options available to you there. If you want to buy this one you're looking at places like Best Defense, Centurion Arsenal, Clint's Collectibles, General Stores, The Mining League, Neon Tactical, Outland, uh, Shepherd's General Store, UC Exchange and the Trade Authority. You will find them in crates quite a lot. You will find lots of the blue variants around I have seen quite a few of those. So yeah let's give this one a try. Like I say, this is completely new. I am learning as we go. As I understand it, it is quite a close range weapon, so we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Let's try hip firing. No, it's not bad. It's slow. It, I think it would definitely warrant uh, some upgrades to it. I don't think you'd want to be using this straight off without anything on it. But this is hip firing. Mission helpful. Well, you suddenly you're able to stun stun them. They'll stumble around. Um sort of like an electrocution I suppose you could say so in that regard you can it would enable you to to close the gap so you can get in nice and close which is what you definitely need to be doing with this one let's try a little bit more at range at what point not really hitting in there so you don't have to be up close and personal too much with him. You can be a little way away. The question would be just how far away becomes too far. Um, I'm assuming the range is in meters so that would be uh, their recommendation is 20 meters. Don't know whether that's totally accurate. We could squeeze a little bit more out of that. Let's just try firing again. Okay, well, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, it certainly gets the job done, but I, I think you'd probably burn through quite a lot of ammunition trying to clear a base out with this thing. But if you're looking at one of your more stubborn bosses, probably someone with a bit of armour. I, I suspect this could probably do quite well because of its stumbling ability. They would uh, they'd have a hard time keeping a lock on you when they're being stumbled around. It does take them down. And the, uh, the sights are straightforward. Again, this is another weapon that doesn't get in your way. It's nice to see. You can aim 
down the sights and when your reticle turns red you know you're on target hold your finger and take him down it's not so much taking him down, it's sort of whittling it down I suppose you could say it's not it's never going to be a, a devastating weapon again uh, it will probably get pointed out in the comments that it, the more you upgrade it and the more you talents you put in your heavy weapons and in your energy weapons the better this thing will do and that's totally accurate as I say this is just the base version and I don't really have much in the way of combat talent points placed yet so I've been focusing on science areas during my playthrough but in its basis form I'm not really he's high level I'm not really complaining too much it's straightforward I think it would do the job quite well. I would rate it better than the cutter, if I was perfectly honest. The only downside to it is that... Uh, that sounded like a minigun. The only downside to it is that it uses the laser ammunition, whereas the, the cutter has just a charge that never really runs out. I mean, it will wear down, but you just let it recharge itself. It's almost infinite ammunition. But given the fact that the laser ammunition is easy to come by uh, it's nothing to seriously worry about you can stockpile thousands of rounds of ammunition you don't have to worry about mass when it comes to ammunition so carrying around several thousand laser rounds to use this thing isn't really an issue so yeah if you, uh, if you like your heavy weapons and you're, you're a fan of the laser cutter and you want to try something slightly different, then the arc welder could be for you. That one is very unhappy. It's a good reload to it, I will say that, it's quite fast. A lot of heavy weapons can be a bit of a problem when it comes to reloading, but this one's straight in and out. It's almost battery-like rather than magazine, which I suppose is fairly accurate. Where did you go? I think I'm going to get him with the base weapon. I think he's just a little bit too strong. And he's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Bit too strong to be using a base weapon on. But I will come back for him with a stronger weapon in a minute. I will wrap that video up there. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. Leave a comment. Happy to read them. Happy to reply if I can. Um, if you didn't like the video, um, I can only apologise for that. Uh, hopefully, uh, you find something more to your liking. Uh, please keep in mind that this is just a personal review. I'm in no way putting these weapons down. This is just my own usage. Everybody has their own individual playstyle. This is mine, and to be honest, I'm probably butchering these weapons. But as long as I'm having fun, that's all that really matters when it comes to gaming. So, yeah, that is the Arc Welder, that is my rant complete. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.